An Introduction to G10 1100 Immunofluorescence Quantitative Analyzer Welcome to use G10 1100 Immunofluorescence Quantitative Analyzer G10 1100 Analyzer is designed to provide professional healthcare personnel with point-of-care testing which meets laboratory QC requirements. Utilizing advanced technology, G10 1100 provides a simple, effective, and reliable solution to early detection of diseases and continuous monitoring of patients. Contents Part 1 Unpack G10 1100 Part 2 Installation Part 3 Operation Demonstration Part 4 Directions to use capillary pipette. Part 1. Unpack G10 1100. The package includes G10 1100 instrument, a power adapter, a data cable, a user manual, a roll of printing paper, etc. Please check the items according to the packing list. With touchscreen and GP exclusive Android system, G10 1100 provides a much more comfortable experience. All testings can be operated via the touchscreen. On the front of the instrument, we can see a 7 inch touchscreen and a RFID area. On the left side is a SD card slot. These are to identify parameters information of the product. Also, there is a built-in thermal mini printer to print testing results. Two USB ports on the left side is to upgrade the system and to connect with optional barcode scanner. On the rear end of the instrument is a power switch, a power supply interface, Ethernet port, and RS-232 port for PC and LIS-HIS system connection. Part 2 Installation The G10 1100 analyzer should be placed horizontally on a clean surface, which should be large enough to perform the operation. Avoid places where may be exposed to dust, water, direct sun exposure, electromagnetic radiation, or vibration, since these may affect the outcomes. Connect power adapter to G10 1100 analyzer and the power cable to the outlet. When install the printing paper, draw a line on both sides of the paper and load it into the print port with the carbon sensitive side down. Connect the barcode scanner to the USB port of the analyzer when installing it. Connect the power supply and the barcode scanner, which is optional, before turning on the analyzer, after which the analyzer will automatically start up the self-test program. The main interface will be shown on the screen after the completion of self-test program. Click Settings and Print Setting to choose Auto Print and then click Test to make sure the printing paper is successfully installed. Communication setting is used to set the COM status and to test whether the barcode scanner is working properly. Settings of sample and reaction mode can be done on the interface of test settings. Reaction time interface is designed to set display time of each test item. Normally it is set at the factory. System setting interface is designed to set screen saver, language, date, time, and restore factory settings. Part 3. Operation Demonstration G10 1100 Immunofluorescence Quantitative Analyzer shall be used with matched reagent kits as listed in the table below. Samples of whole blood, serum, plasma, and urine can be applied to the instrument. To ensure the accuracy of measurements, please allow 20 minutes of warm-up time for the instrument before testing. Each G10 1100 kit contains 25 individually packed testing cards, product specifications, and one SD card. 
production dates, batch information, and expiration date are labeled on the side of the packaging box. The test card must be used within one hour after opening. To ensure the accuracy of tests and the comparability of testing results, the instrument should be calibrated with a batch-matched SD card or a RFID card each time when a new batch of kits are used. Detailed operations are illustrated as following. Insert a SD card into the slot or put the RFID card at the identification area. Press OK to upload the data. The simple test operation of G10-1100 only needs three steps. The testing process could generally be categorized into two types according to diluent requirement. The tests of HSCRP and CTNI are used here as demonstrations. Testing demonstration of HSCRP. Step 1. Sample processing. Obtain serum plasma samples by centrifuging blood. Step 2. Sample loading. First, take 10 microliter sample with pipette or capillary. And mix it gently with 1 milliliter diluent. Then, take out HSCRP test card and add 100 microliter diluted sample on it. Step 3. Parameters and Testings Set up the parameters. Input patient information of name, sex, age, and ID information. Choose Serum Plasma and inside mode. Insert the test cassette into the slot. Press Start to automatically run the test. And print the results. Testing demonstration of CTNI. Step 1. Set up the parameters. On the main interface, input patient information of name, sex, age, and ID information. Choose whole blood and outside mode. Step 2. Sample loading. First, take 100 microliter sample with pipette or capillary and add it to the test card. Then, add a drop of diluent and count down 10 minutes for reaction. Step 3. Measurement and auto result printing. After reaction, insert the sample card into the test port. Press Start or click Measure to test. And print the results automatically. Turn off the power and clean the table after operation. Part 4. Directions to use capillary pipette. Insert the quantitative capillary pipette into the sample tube. Touch the surface gently with the edge of the capillary pipette and take the sample. Note, 
do not extend the exhaust pipe below the liquid level. Insert the capillary pipette and exhaust pipe into the dilution liquid, pinch the suction bag gently, and clean the capillary pipette two to three times. Mix the dilution manually. Insert the capillary pipette and exhaust pipe into the dilution liquid, pinch the suction bag, and take the sample after mixing. Pinch the suction bag and drop the sample vertically into the sample port of the test card.